Now, footballers across the country have come together to pay tribute to the former English footballer and manager Terry Venables, who passed away aged 80. Mr Venables played and captained for various clubs, including Chelsea, Tottenham Hotspur and Queen's Park Rangers during the 1960s and 70s. So joining me now is GB News Sports presenter Aidan McGee. Aidan, thank you for joining me now. Terry Venables, he's died. He's aged 80. What will he most be remembered for? That's quite a personal question in itself, Nana, because one of the criticisms of Terry Venables during his career, and Alex Ferguson said this himself, as did George Graham, one of his uh, great friends and contemporaries, that Terry was so good at so many different things. And in fact, football coaching was just never going to be enough for him. He had a stellar career as a, as a player. You mentioned some of the clubs he played for there. He was never really an elite footballer in the sense that, it, that some of his contemporaries like Alan Mullery and George Best were. But he did get two caps for England. He played probably over 500 games for the clubs that you mentioned. But it was the it was the coaching and it was the imparting of knowledge which made him really come into his own. You look at the team of the 80s, as it was described at Crystal Palace in the late 70s, early 80s. It didn't really work out at boardroom level and it became a bit of a noose around his neck in some ways, this whole team of the 80s moniker that still exists today. But when he went, went to Queen's Park Rangers, that's where he really kind of made made his name as a as a football manager. And just for context, there he he took QPR to the 1982 FA Cup final as a second division side. Only two clubs have done that since Sunderland in '92, Cardiff in 2008. He took them up as champions in 1983, and then in '84 he got them into Europe in their first season in the top flight. And that was when, and this will never happen again, Anna. The Queens Park Rangers manager was poached by FC Barcelona. They had won one La Liga title in Spain since 1960. He delivered that title in his first season. He then took him to the European Cup final in 1986, losing on penalties. Then he came back to England and then he got a chance with Tottenham Hotspur. And this is where the problems with his outside interest came into him. Mean, he had a failed business with running a tailor alongside George Graham and Ron Chopper Harris a few years before that. He had a nightclub in the West End called Scribes West. He, he wrote a sitcom. Or no, sorry. He, he, he'd already written some novels by then. He was a very accomplished singer. I mean, I went to Burnham Beaches a few years ago where England were occupied during Euro 96. And a young German guy who had interest in football was, was showing me around all the parts of the hotel where Paul Gascoigne was up at three o'clock in the morning playing tennis, for example. And he pointed out the grand piano and he said, oh, that's where Terry Venables used to, used to serenade the squad to relax them before games. But just before that, that England experience, the Tottenham thing was interesting because he got the best out of Paul Gascoigne. There's no question about that. Gary Lineker was one of his top players as well. But I do think it was the it was England England Euro ninety six getting England to the semi final those fantastic performances against Scotland and Holland that will really stand out when we look back on his career. But there's so so much to admire. This was a multi talented individual, huge charisma. My own disappointment was that he managed my club Queens Park Rangers with extreme distinction. He was often invited back. I tried to interview him in 2017 at the Grosvenor Hotel, and it was fellow legend Pat Jennings who said to me, "Look, he looks Terry looks well, but I would advise you not to interview him because." He's not in the best of health cognitively right now. And that was very sad. as a real regret of mine. Oh, very sad. Aidan McGee, thank you very much. Good to talk to you. That was Terry Venables, who's died aged 80.